guys have coming back and what uh, kind of firepower do you have this upcoming year? Uh, we're bringing back just about everybody. I think we graduated maybe two, three guys. We're going to be fast. We're going to be small. Just going to be out there trying to run, run and gun, basically. Uh, as one of the leaders of the team, what do you try to impart to some of these younger guys that are going to be getting uh, bigger roles and some their first taste of varsity basketball in the SEC on a Friday? I'm just trying to tell them, teach them, uh, you know, hard work, trying to teach them how to get up and down the court, make sure we're out in the break. You know, we're used to being the faster team on the court, so we just, we just want to keep being the faster team. What is priority number one for this team when you guys start the season and practice? Hopefully you guys are not, the football guys are not practicing in a couple weeks, still alive, but what is going to be like priority number one for you guys off the bat? Uh, priority just would be uh, filling everybody out, you know, we've got some new guys coming in, just want to fill where everybody is and then just get everybody into the offense, make sure we're running our offense at tip top or as top as good as we can. What's the biggest takeaway from last year that you guys can use that are returning um, to take it a step further this season? Um, we can take away our we we began to play very good defense at the end of the season. So we wanna we wanna continue that good defense and continue to push the pace on offense and run the run the ball down the down the court as fast as we can. Really. Uh, final question: What's going to be the big key or X factor for Lewis this year to be as successful as you want to be? The uh, big key is going to be rebounds. It's definitely going to be rebounds. So on defensive end, we hold somebody to only one shot and we get out on the break. Should be a good year. Appreciate it, man. What do you, you, listen, you see out there on the basketball court? Uh, as you think of positive thoughts about the Uh Yeah. So. It helps that we're bringing back a lot. You know, we only graduated about three people. So lot, most guys got a lot of their first varsity experience last year. And we learned a lot from those experiences. And this summer, we really feel like we gelled together. You know, we got some new guys coming in. So we're just really excited for this season and get to play in our game. Uh, you know, with you, Nick, and Zay coming back, you guys have a, a core of returnees to build off of. Uh, how do you guys go about leading the team, and what do you tell some of the younger guys that are now going to be stepping into bigger roles and playing some their first varsity experience on a Friday night? Uh, we just like to lead by example, you know, coming in and working hard every day. And just like those guys that are coming in just to really just play the game. Like, it's a big spotlight in, a big spotlight in Indiana high school basketball, but... It's a lot of fun out there, and we just want those get get those guys used to it and get those guys playing. Um, obviously, uh, Coach White's no longer there, but you have a familiar face just in a different role as the head coach. So, uh, does that change any of the philosophies, or do you imagine it'll pretty much just stay the same? Uh, yeah, I feel like some things will change. You know, we're still looking to push the ball because you know we're a smaller team, smaller guards, so we push the floor. But I feel like we'll definitely have more defensively. We'll be a little better, you know, with Coach Coffing. You know, us guys, we really like him, and yeah. Final question: What's the goal from Lures here this upcoming season? Uh, the goal from Lures is just to come and get better every single day. You know, build on and really just have a good season and play. Dang, that was bad. No, it was ninety percent there. <laughs> But uh, goals for the season? Goals for the season. Uh, so we're just looking to build on last year, you know, just come and get better every day and work hard and just gel together a team so we can get ready for the playoffs. You know, I think we're going to be really athletic this year. I think we're going to continue to push the tempo and get out and run the floor. For this team, um, you know, you have yourself, you have Capel, you have Nick, you have some uh, good core pieces coming back. How do you guys hit the ground running knowing that there is a lot of experience and guys that have played varsity SAC basketball thus far? So, like, like you said, Cadell and Nick and myself, you know, we've been here for a while. So now it's just really bringing up the other guys and getting them on the same page as well. So it's just bringing us together and continuing to do what we've been doing. Uh, give me some names and tell me some of the young guys that are going to be filling in roles around you, around that trio, if you will. Um, another junior in our class, his name is Damian Jackson. I feel like he's going to be a big part down at the five role. And then we got a few sophomores, Demarcus Barr and uh, Danny Kelly, who transferred from DeWanger last year. And I think they're going to play some key roles for us. Um, obviously, a new head coach, but a familiar coach uh, who's been in your system. Uh, what kind of changes are there? What's it like to have somebody else leading the program, knowing that you know you've, you've been playing under Fonzo for so long? Jimmy Davidson. Obviously, Fonzo was a good coach, but sometimes it's needed for some changes. So, you know, it's good. Coach Coffey brings a new energy, brings a new life into, brings a new life into the program. So it's good.
Nick, you have breathing problems over there? What's uh, he's, he's working oh, now. He, yeah. Uh, what, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Coach Lindsay see that. He doesn't need to see that. Yeah. Uh, final question, what's the key to having a, the type of success you want to have overall as a program this year? I think it's really just building that brotherhood, getting us all on the same page. So, yeah, that's really it. I mean, we just got to work together and be one team. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a big advantage, being around the kids uh, for a year before taking over and having them familiar with me and me familiar with them and just uh, continue to build that trust and relationships with them. Really important to have a full summer together. Um, not something I've experienced uh, too many times taking over a program and having an entire off season with them, which has been really nice to kind of get my system in, in, um, in, into uh, just the daily daily basis, everything that we're doing. Um, but really just um, getting them to understand uh, what I want as far as expectations uh, from them on both ends of the floor and as teammates. When you take a look at uh, the returnees coming back, you know, with, with Cadell and with Zay and with Nick, you kind of have a good triumvirate there of experience and talent. Um, who are some of the guys that are going to fill in around them and who are the guys that are going to take bigger roles this season to help supplement what you have to be back? Yeah, I think, I mean, those guys are really the key to how many wins we get. I mean, how fast they figure out what their roles are and what they're good at and what they're not and um, really taking on those roles and understanding that um, in order for us to be successful, that's a big part of it. Um, so, you know, right away, just making sure that they understand uh, within the system where they fit um, and, you know, having a discipline as to what they can and can't do and uh, just instilling that on a daily basis. Uh, for you, um, Obviously, you know, under Fonzo, we saw Bishop Lewis take it to the top and win an SEC championship. What does it take to get to that level again um, and, you know, to that level where we've seen, you know, even in 10, 15 years ago with Deshaun Thomas, where they can compete for an SEC championship? How do you do it? Yeah, I think a lot of it with our kids, I mean, we're kind of known as a football school. So carrying over that competitiveness from football to basketball and making it more of a relationship rather than one sport here one sport to the next and that's something that has been really cool being in the school with the other main coaches of the boys sports and we're all on the same page with it um, so I mean I think we can be competitive with the top teams in the SAC on a consistent basis um, but it's going to take a year-round effort to do that and being able to work with those other coaches and making sure we're not stepping on each other's foots and they're and they're able to um, um, do everything you know, not making them make choices. Right. Uh, final question for me. What, what's the X factor? What's the biggest key to Fish Blues having a, a good season? I know you mentioned it was kind of those three guys figuring out the role and how to lead this team to a certain degree. Yeah, I think uh, Isaac Zay, the last one that just interviewed, is, is a really big key for us. Uh, he's really just been a, a standstill shooter for the most, most part of his varsity career, but he's got a lot more to his game. Um, Cadell and Nick, their games are going to continue to grow. Um, but we kind of know what we're going to get out of them. And I think Isaac's going to be a really big key to uh, a lot of different things that we do both offensively and defensively. Anything else you'd like to add? Just really excited.